Yo, what's up guys, Toonie here, back with another video, and today we're reviewing Railgun T episode 16. So it's finally here, Railgun T is back with the brand new Dream Ranker arc, and this was a pretty good first episode. I just want to say the dialogue in this episode was really funny, and it might be a lot of the original Railgun. It just gave me that vibe with like the way the communications were flowing. The beginning of the episode was hilarious. I love seeing just like, you know, casual conversations with Misaka, Misaki, and Junko. Just saying Junko in this episode, that just makes you want to ask your buddy. It's like a, just a spin off, like an anime adaptation. I just love seeing her character just literally sitting there, just so enjoyable to me. So there's some funny dialogue of them basically arguing and just seeing, because after, you know, what happened with the Dahase Festival, just seeing them back to normal in school, just such a great sight. And then Junko gives Misaka this card, apparently like a, like a Dream Ranker card. And then Saiyan does explain what happens with this card. Basically, it can connect dreams if you lay it on top of your forehead. Saiyan pretty much explains a lot in this episode. It explains the Dream Ranker, basically how it's set up, and then this application. Also, I would just like to point out, the opening is fire. I did a full reaction video if you to check that out. Opening's great. So basically, Misaka was curious and wants to try out this new Dream Ranker phase that's going on through Academy City. So she puts it on the forehead while she sleeps and had a dream, of course, about Gekuras. Now this was super funny. And yeah, but Misaki ended up being in a dream. And it was like, so apparently I like, shared the same dream with the same cards that Junko gave him. And it was some super funny moments with some fan service of Misaki, but we take those. So yeah, Misaka was super mad, and then Kuroko being her normal self, being super creepy while Misaka was having this dream. Then after this, Junko takes Misaka, Misaki, okay, that kind of that kind of gets confusing. <laughs> and basically just talking, trying to bring them closer together, and just overall talking about how the Dream Ranker experience went. But then they overhear someone, Blue, I think that's how you pronounce his name, like Blue. He's actually Toma's friend, so it's kind of cool to see him popping up in Railgun. And he's apparently an S ranker flexing about his dreams and basically what he dreamed about, about the level fives and how they had used the card. So he's like basically flexing to the boys, which I respect it. But it was some pretty freaky stuff. It was, that was like probably the funniest part of the episode. And obviously the level fives overheard him. So they basically, the ultimate dream team just shut him down. And I think that was really great. I wish it was an action scene of them doing it. It was just like a quick frame and then it pans back to normal. But it was still funny and it added on to the point. Then after this happens, it just pans back to Kuroko, but Uiharu patrolling. So they're pretty much just investigating about the app, trying to learn more about it because there have been crimes about this. Also, I just like to point out, there was a little, f f like a flyer on like a bus thing about a new judgment member. I think that would be really great to see like a new judgment member. I know Uiharu was excited. So it looked like there was going to be multiple accidents, but nothing happened. But then there ended up being one, and Kuroko saves a student. And they basically find out on the top of a roof, there's this 10-year-old boy named Miyama. So then Kuroko and Uiharu bring them to the judgment office and start asking questions. So pretty much, he's an esper that can basically use a camera to like see like events, but it's like very blurry. And he's working with an app to like... It was a, the app was originally made for good things with people with similar powers, but it ended up getting twisted up a bit. And then of course, the outro was amazing. Honestly, the song for the outro is better than the intro. That's just me though. But this episode was nothing crazy. I really enjoyed it. It was a, wasn't heavily on action. You know, we had the level fives versus versus the flexing freak, and then Kuroko saving the person from a car. Over a good, good episode. I give the episode a 3.5 out of 5 Gikidos. Okay, so subscribe. I give it... No, I changed. I give it a four. Oh, it's a good first episode. Okay, let me know if I should rate them and get good. Is that cringy? So, subscribe, like this video, and peace. What do you do? Stay awesome.